you arrive on scene to a well kept farmhouse or the fire department on scene. The husband greets you and escorts you to the patient. The patient is fairly conscious and alert, in severe distress, on the floor, touching your chest, and crying. All right. Uh, BSI, is my scene safe? Yes. Is that my only patient? Yes. All right. I'll defer a ceasefire at this time and I'm going to go assess my patient now. Okay. All right. And you're my partner, so I'd like you to get a full set of vitals. Okay. Um, what level am I? You're a paramedic. Okay. And um, I'd also like a BG as well. So is my patient how I see my, is this how I see my patient sitting? She looks like Bashu, clutching her chest in front. Um, how's it going, Jay? Well, she it's bad. Me? She says bad. All right. Do you know where you are? Yeah, I'm at home. All right. Uh, what seems to be going on? How's, my, how's this happen? My, my chest hurts. All right. Like, like a lot. Like a lot. Uh, has this ever happened before? No. All right. Um, what provoked this? What? You, what? what provoked this? What do, you, what, do you, what do you mean? So what was the provocation? Right, what, 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 what was she doing that started it? Uh, I don't know. I was just doing dishes. Just doing dishes? Um, when you're done with that, can I get my, uh, can I get a 12, uh, a 4 lead on as well? Okay. And where are my vitals? Where do you want? For my blood pressure. 136 over 84. Ninety-six. Ninety-six. And what's her oxygen saturation at this time? Ninety-four. Ninety-four. You don't need to plug that in. Huh? You don't need to plug that in. Um, ours keeps dying. You don't need to get on. Okay. Uh, I'd like to get her on a nasal cannula at four liters at this time. Okay. Our monitor is plugged in. All right. Um, what am I seeing with my... Sinus. Sinus. All right, I'm going to do this a quick, you know, assess my patient. Do I notice any problems with their face? No, oh, she's pale. Um, do, do I notice any tracheal deviation or JVD? Nope. All right. Chest, any, does it hurt when I touch it? Nope. All right. Can you breathe in for me? When she breathes in, does it make, does it make the pain better or worse? Nope. All right. Palpate abdomen, oh, anything? Oh. Nope. Soft on All right. Go down the legs. Do I note anything? Nope. And I'm going to check for pedal edema. Do I note any? Nope. And what about um, pedal pulse? Are they there? Okay. Babinski, both legs. Yeah. All right. Check the arms. And what are my radial pulses? Do I? Strong and regular. Okay. Um, so can you describe this pain to me? It feels like a, like a crushing, squeezing pain in my chest. A crushing, squeezing pain. And severity, one being the least amount of pain you ever felt, 10 being the most, what would you say it is? 10, this is the most, this for sure. 10. And how long has this been going on? Like 15 minutes? 15 minutes. What was the BG that I just got? 101. 101. Um, um, do you have any medical history I should know about? Are you on, and are you on any medications? Uh, I take Tagamet and Prozac, and Tagamet. I have ulcers. So you have ulcers? And do you have any allergies I need to know about at this time? Yeah, I'm, I'm allergic to morphine and aspirin. You're allergic to aspirin? Yeah. All right, well, what happens when you take aspirin? Uh, my doctor just took me off of it um, because I have ulcers. Uh, okay. I was taking it every day until like two months ago. Well, at this time, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you some aspirin because okay. I'm, I'm a little concerned and it's not really gonna bother your ulcers. And I'm gonna give 324 milligrams. Okay, whatever you say. Can, I, I trust you. Can you take it? And can she chew it up? Yeah. All right. Um, partner, can we get a 12 lead on this patient before we transport? Yep. What's my weather like? Sunny. Yeah. All right. And where is the nearest hospital for me? 15 minutes. All right. And um, what's the level of care I have at my hospital? What do you want? Um, preferably a cath lab if something's available. Okay. Your cath lab 15 minutes away. Because I, I have a strong suspicion of um, a cardiac problem at this time, and I just okay. want to cover my bases. Okay. 
what's my um, current um, oxygenation level? I'm on four. Well, ninety-five. Okay. Would you like me to get eight IV access? We gotta breathe it again. I thought you were putting. I thought you put it on yeah, one more time. Four liter, four four liter. What are my lungs? Stickers sounds? on there. You want stickers yeah. on there? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What are my lungs sound like? Clear bilaterally. Clear bilaterally? Yep. Is the husband here? Yeah. So, um, did she fall down or anything when no, this happened, she just, or she just kind of slumped down? She, she kind of clutched her chest and then sat down on the ground. All right. I'm going to, has the fire department arrived? Yeah. Can they uh, bring the gurney in closer to us? Sure. All right. They're on it. Awesome. We're just going to kind of hold here until I can take a picture of my patient's heart. Okay. So just sit still. My partner's going to get this set up. And while she's doing that, I'm going to start an ID on you. Be a little tight. I'll take it off in a minute. Uh, do we have an 18 gauge over there, partner? You can just say whatever is in your hand is an 18 because All right. they jack up the arm. All right, then I I would. Do you want me to insert this? You're starting an 18, but don't actually use the 18. Okay. I'm. Yeah, there you go. That's an 18. Got. It. I'll use the 20. Got. It. This is an 18 though. There you go. Now you're, now you're getting it. All right. Couple more stickers. Gonna have to lift up for sure. Let me get a better picture of your heart. All right. You feel a little poke. Three, two, one. Ow. All right. Sharps away. Yeah. All right. I have the results of the following. All right. I'm noticing ST depression in three and eight and ADF and one, two, B one, B two, and B three. I'm noticing extreme ST elevation. Okay. At this time. Okay. All right. So given this information, I feel like my patient could possibly be having a heart attack at this time, an MI, or an ischemic event. Okay. So I'm going to treat accordingly with um, heart attack protocol. Could you get a second IV started for me? Mm -hmm. Would you like me to get the yep. second ID started now, or can we transport? Um, let me let me transport. We'll get it done. Okay. I, at, right now, I'm going to um, get have the fire department help me get the patient on the gurney. We're going to get her loaded. We're going to start transporting, and I'm going to continue with my medication and treatment. Yeah. Later on. Are we transporting? Are you transporting? Uh, yes. No. Are are we in? Yeah. yeah. Now? All right. All right. Okay. Can I get an updated? Um, Set of vitals. So you're transporting now? Yes. Okay. Updated blood pressure. What mode? What? Where? Where are you going? Um, we are okay. going to the closest cap lab. Okay. Wherever that is within 15 minutes away. Okay. And I'm having one of the firefighters drive. Are you going code two or code three? Code three. There you go.
What's the chest pain? Uh, no, it's, it still hurts. Well, what's your pain at right now? 10. Okay. What's the BG? 101. 101. Or oh, sorry, blood pressure. pressure. <laughs> 136 over 84. 136 over 84. So, still the same. Yeah. All right. I got one question, ma'am, before I, I give you this. Have you taken any, um, like, Viagra or anything like that that I should, you know, know about before I give you this? Because it can have a, a bad effect. No. Okay. Well, I'm going to give my patient uh, one spray of nitro mm -hmm. sublingually, 0 0.4 milligrams. Okay. Does she note any um, burning or headache with... My head hurts. Okay, well that, that's a good sign then. Okay. All right, I need to get a, a new a updated EP. And has your pain decreased at all? No. No. All right. Still 10 out of 10? Yep. Okay. Well, I'm going to um, give morphine at this time. Okay. Uh, four milligrams. Okay. Would you like me to draw it up? Yeah. Okay. Would you like a needle in a box? Yes, I would. Give me one second. I'll get that blood pressure for you. Updated blood pressure. What is it? 136 over 84. All right. Well, I'm going to, we're going to wait on that just a minute. How much are you drawing up? I'm drawing up four milliliters. Four milliliters. Sorry. Uh, I'm going to draw up. More. Can I get a sign of the morphine? Can you have a 6 ml syringe? So, thank you. So I'm going to drop one half of a milliliter, which will be five milligrams. Starts it out. All right. All right, how has that made my, has that helped my patient's chest pain at all? No. Not at he all. He says my lips feel tingly and my throat feels like it's swelling up. Okay. She's an She has an alacetamorphine, which I didn't catch. Um, so at this time I need to give her Epi 1 to 1000 for anaphylaxis because I gave her the wrong medication. One milligram. All right, I've given it. Uh, her chest pain hurts a lot more now. And what's the updated vitals? Uh, the same. All right. I'm going to give my patient another spray of nitro. Okay. Does it help? Uh, no, it still hurts kind of dead. Okay. Um, how much longer till we get to the hospital? Five minutes. Five minutes. I'm going to continue to monitor my patient. Is she showing any more sign? Is she showing any signs of anaphylaxis still? Or did uh, I? She feels really anxious now. Okay. Um, her lips aren't feeling anymore, but her chest hurts way worse than it did before. Okay. What is the monitor reading? Sinus. Sinus. Okay. Sinus at what rate? 110. 110. All right. 
Empower her skin signs and respirations. Uh, rapid shallow. Rare 22, skin signs are tail, cool. And SPO2? 95. 95. 95, sorry. Um, how's my patient's level of consciousness at the time of the change? She's alert and oriented. She's just in a lot of pain. All right. I've given her two doses of nitro. I'm going to give her a third one. Okay. Hey, do I know any change to her pain level? Nope. All right. I'm going to monitor my patient until we get to the hospital. Okay. And um, I should give a report. Yeah, I'm going to give a report. Um, Stay in line, medic 7511. Uh, medic 7511, can you lean it away? Um, Stay in line, medic 7511. We have a 65-year-old patient on board Davis the Coast Street Transport. This is paramedic Valentine. Um, suffering from severe chest pain. No ST segment elevation in B1, B2, and B3. Um, patient has an allergy to aspirin, and after giving, or, or, does not have an allergy to aspirin, has an allergy to morphine. After giving her four, five milligrams of morphine, she was complaining of um, numbness and tingling. So she was given um, Epi 1 to 1000 to counteract it. She's been given three sprays of nitroglycerin with little to no effect on the pain level is currently 10 out of 10. Vitals are as follows, BP 132 over 80, um, heart rate 110, tachycardic. Um, BG 101, she's currently on Tagamet and Paxil as home medications. SPO2 is 96. Do you have any further questions or orders? No questions or orders. See you when you get here. All right. I'm done. No, you're not. No, I'm not. You're going to two minutes and 20 seconds. Oh, oh okay. With that, chest pain, would you not consider a fentanyl? I can consider fentanyl. At this time, I'm going to give my patient fentanyl to help with chest pain. Where is the fentanyl? I'm going to give my um, patient 25 micrograms. Okay. Which will be one half ml. All right. Um, how's my patient's pain now? 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Didn't help. Nope. All right. I'm going to do just a quick reassessment for pupil pearl. Mm -hmm. They are. They are. I'm going to listen to lung sounds again. Okay. Do I know any changes? No. All right. And is there any changes on the monitor that I need to rectify? No, it's not a tech. All right. How are you feeling? That's I it, it hurts. It hurts really bad. Okay, you're at the hospital. Now. All right. 